All right, hello guys, and welcome to another video from DLP22 Gaming. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the broadcast on February 25th from PlayStation State of Play, which means what we're going to expect from PlayStation moving forward on terms of games. And I have not seen anything. I didn't want to spoilers. I didn't want to know anything about it. So I waited the few days just to make this video. The broadcast was live, but it's on YouTube, so we can watch it while we talk about it. So let's uh, get this going and see what are they talking about. Alrighty, let's see what we can expect from PlayStation. Hope you enjoy it. There's some very unexpected developments in your future. Shocking events that will change the course of your life! <laughs> Last part Crash. has been a hair dramatic, but there's lots of awesome updates and additions. Coming to the Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time experience on PlayStation Turn it 5. up a little bit. Hey everyone, I'm Lou Stutter, creative producer at Toys for Bob. I'm here to give you the feature rundown on Crash Bandicoot 4 on PS5. That Crash Bandicoot 4 on PS5. Adaptive triggers, 3D audio, and more. Oh, nice. Let's make this fun. So they're remastering. The Crash Bandicoot Warp left off. In Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. We find the evil masterminds, Neocortex, and Dr. Entropy. Escaping yeah, whoever played this game, I played it. Inescapable it interdimensional awesome. prison, leaving giant holes in the universe. What follows I recommend is a it if you haven't adventure played it. For Crash and his marsupial pals. We designed Crash Bandicoot 4 to leap off your screen, brimming with bold, vibrant environments. Yeah, and you can see the, the colors. Crash has always looked pretty suave, but wait until you see him spending they heads fixed in native 4K, native 4K, 60 frames per second, and 60 frames per second. Of course, as a PS5. With the weight of the universe on your shoulders, and probably some errands to run. There's little time to wait on loading screens. The dual sense yeah, loading the screen, uh, screens. triggers to your fingertips. Adapt the triggers. So That's awesome. The blast of Neocortex's DNA I'll be trying that on. Uh, or feel the grip when you grapple a ton of yes, hookshots. Yes, trying that on Cold War, man. When you when feel you the boost of Crash's jet board, and really it makes a big difference when you have yeah, Dingo Dial. Looking to get fully immersed in the Crash Bandicoot universe? Crank it up to 11 and take your audio into an all new 11. dimension with enhanced uh, 3D, 3D audio, audio, but you have to have the headset yeah. to come to the PlayStation Achieving 5. Well, don't come with the PlayStation 5. completion is the sign of a true Bandicoot master. But should our genetically mutated marsupial lose his way, <laughs> leverage marsupial. PlayStation 5 activity cards to track your nice. progress and hit your goals. So it's being re enhanced like from PS5. That's awesome. Man. Looks great though. And boss fights. I bet Entropy wishes he had that. <laughs> Even bring your incomplete save over from the PlayStation 4 nice. and use the activity cards to get to 106%. So if you played it on PS4. Thing, if you own the PS4 version of the game, an upgrade option is available. Check you out get the a free upgrade for, for PS5. Whether it's and then also you can carry your, your hundredth, progress, there's no your better progress. time to experience Crash Bandicoot 4 That's awesome. about time That's on great. PlayStation 5. I have it. Available now, March. 12. I little one on PS4, much 12. Welcome back, for Crash. The gang's all here on today's new edition of State of Play. We've got some great let's updates see. lined up for you. Nice. I want to see it. I can't wait. First, like I said, I haven't seen any. Check out the latest on an eagerly anticipated game coming to the PS5 console this spring from PlayStation spring. Studios. Okay, hey everyone. We at Housemark are excited to give you this sneak peek at Returnal. Returnal. In Returnal, you will play as Celine, an Astra Scout. Capture Crash on lands on an alien planet, Atropos, after receiving a mysterious signal, White Shadow. Okay. Players will explore this inscrutable dark oh planet God. in search for answers and unfold mysteries. That looks which amazing. May point to a larger force at play. Oh, there we go. Let's Dashing see. and quickly play. maneuvering your way above and around enemies is key to survival in the game. Hell yeah. Okay, White Shadow. Okay. Your health and stuff. You guys want me to remove the the bottom part of my text? Let's see. The subscribe part of it. There you go. The oh, you can see a little bit better. Enemies and the vast number of unique movesets each possess, combat situations prove challenging no matter what the circumstances are. Death is only the beginning. I'll make this smaller. Move it over. 
That's the Every usually time stuff you in die and restart, the world will change. The oh. map will be different. Enemies will appear in new wow. locations and in differing numbers, so you have to think fast and adapt. Think Here you can see the use nice. of the lightning alt fire, which is great for crowd control. This is one of many alt fires that you can acquire in the game. Kind of like we have, we have been seeing in the Outriders uh, when we played the demo a few days ago. I like the gameplay so far. It looks beautiful. You will stumble across mysterious devices that can grant rewards to the player. These will vary from weapons, consumables, and upgrades, and they can completely change your playstyle and make each cycle feel unique. Oh, nice. I like this. Besides the intense combat, Returnal also has a deep and engaging narrative. We allow players to piece together the puzzle that is the story so is of Selene as they venture deeper and deeper into Atropos and into her personal nightmare. Oh, look at that. That's... Yes, because it's a house. It's just that can't be mind. here. I think I am reliving my memories in that house, but not fully. That is good They're that corroded. way not everything's so alien. Some parts are missing, others seem manufactured. Okay, the white shadow broadcast. But I can remember the torment feeling Look at the like 3D map there. That's awesome, the radar. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Oh, first person. Let's check the cutscene. Because of PS5, there's minimum loading times. Exactly as I left it. That's what they're showing. Yeah. Returnal. 2021. Do we have a release date? Nope. Returnal lands so on spring. April 30th, and it's developed by the talented team at Housemark. Hmm. There we go. Next, let's take a closer look at a high impact new PS4 game called Knockout City. Knockout City. Oh, dodgeball. <laughs> kind of like Fortnite, but dodgeball Fortnite. Hi, I'm Josh from Bell Studios. I'm guessing this is going to be very We're an popular. We're developer based in upstate New York, and we recently announced Knockout City, a team based multiplayer action game for PS4 where rival crews settle their scores four, with guys. epic dodgeball battles. Knockout City is easy to pick up and play, but there's a lot of depth here for those who've got the skills. In our 1v1 face-off mode, you'll go head-to-head -head in a constantly shrinking battleground, relying on your reflexes and abilities to shrink in. Another a well-timed catch powers up the ball, making it easier to land a hit. Battle Royale. Use trick shots to lob a ball over a ledge or hook it around a corner. Dang. Fake a throw to mess up your opponent's timing and knock them out before they can recover. When you're in a tough spot with a ball flying your way, a last second dodge, dodge is the ball. difference between getting you can knocked dodge out and staying you can in the fight. Keep your wits about you and outplay your opponent to bring them Oh, look at that. How little the circle got. <laughs> Let's jump into Team KO, our 3v3 mode. 3v3. What was this guy from uh, Dodgeball? If your crew is outmatched, a whole coordinated team can still dodge dominate. Wrench, you can dodge your ball. We're playing Stop a back alley wrenches. brawl, a new map that you'll find in our upcoming crossplay beta. The special ball for this match is cross the sniper play ball, beta. which locks onto targets from so far across the map. So we're going to be able to play it and try it out. You can take them out before play. they have a chance to react. Beyond special balls, each map features a unique mechanic. In back alley brawl, you can hop into a tube and make a quick getaway Ooh. or use them to sneak up on your opponents. I don't think this is a game I'll be playing, but it's you can a lot literally of become the ball, a new man. weapon for your teammate. It's going to be very popular. Or risk it all. Charge up a teammate, launch them high into the air with an ultimate throw, and they'll land in a huge instant KO explosion. Huh? The team here at Velen has been obsessed with building this world over the last four years. Knockout City is coming four out May years? 21st, and we'd love your help in our final stretch of the How come we never heard of it? Rally your crew and sign up for our crossplay beta at knockoutcity.com to play early on PlayStation. Knockoutcity.com. See you soon, All right. So you can sign up if you guys are interested. Now, Kelsey to the con, there it is. Time for something new. Something Here's your new. first look oh, at an upcoming PS5 game from the team at Slow Clap. Uh oh. What is this? Slow Clap. Very cartoony. On purpose, of course. 
Uh oh, he's gonna kick butt on that hallway. Dang! Whoa. Looks like a mobile game brought to PS5. 4 4. What is this, the Matrix? <laughs> well, if you're looking for a fight, 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 fight. But this is your game. I'll play sometime. They don't say anything, they're not even talking about it. Sifu. 2021. We don't know when. PS4, that PS5. was the debut of Sifu, coming to the PS5 console later this year. Now let's get an update on Solar <laughs> Ash, an epic new PS5 adventure from Heart Machine. Uh, where is my God of War? Where is my... I don't know, man. Uh, Ratchet and Clank stuff. This is one of those indie games that looks like it. Ooh, I'm blind. Hey everyone, I'm Alex Preston, creative director of Heart Machine. You might know us as the team behind Hyperlight Drifter. Today, I'm here to show you the Hyper first gameplay Drifter? for our new title, Solar Ash. Solar Ash. Solar Ash is a huge, stylish 3D platformer focused on speed, movement, and fluidity. It's platform game. The yeah. game is set inside a giant black hole known as the Ultra Void, which has been consuming everything in its path. You play as Ray, a daring void runner Ray? who has decided Ray to Skywalker? into this terrifying anomaly as a last-ditch effort Ray. to save her home world. Ray is extremely agile, able to speed across the world with abilities akin to skating. On the ashen clouds, she can quickly cover great distances in our huge world. At its core, Solar Ash is a game about movement, and Ray has everything she needs. Yeah, we're we'll talking about Bandicoot. Now we got Ray doing this. By Sonic Bandicoot. <laughs> As you journey to save your planet, you'll find yourself face to face with grotesque and violent creatures. Our combat system is simple, fast, and fluid, built to empower players and encourage flow. As you explore the Ultra Void, enemy encounters will scale to greater and greater sizes. Some of these creatures mm. require speed and precise timing to defeat. Not my kind of game, guys. I'm not interested too much on this. Props to the uh, game developers because it looks Ray will eventually interesting need to face the and looks fun. Of this void. Wretched, starved beasts that hold the key. Not to my thing again. That reminds me, I gotta keep playing uh, Shadow of the Colossus. And if you guys like that horror game that I uh, streamed yesterday, let me know. Solar Ash is Heart Machine's vision of the adventure platformer. The giant spaces, the feel of movement, the flow of combat, uh, and the high okay, stakes battles hope. atop enormous beasts all come together to bring players something channel. we think is incredibly search, unique. And hope. more importantly, fun. This game is a labor of love for everyone on the Heart Machine team. We're yeah, but they put a lot into it. To PS5 no. and PS4 later this year. PS5, PS4 later this year. Uh, pass. That's a that's a pass for me. If you're a fan of scary games, this yes. next one is for you. Let's see. Resident Evil, maybe. Resident Evil. Are we gonna when I oh. first found you, you were nothing. You were small. Pathetic. Alice in Wonderland? But now, you are more. Are you ready? Oh, I don't tell me more of Knights of Freddy's. Yep. More Five Nights of Freddy's. Uh... This time it's, of course, the bunny chick. Yep. Ooh. Which is fine, you know, they need to switch it around a little bit. Gregory, we can get you out of here. 
You and me together. Montix. All right. They won't stop hunting you. None of them will stop hunting you. Oh, and this time you can move around. Eh. I mean, I, li I like that you can move around because I don't like the other one that you just sit there and watch the monitors. You will do as I say. You will bring me what I want. I thought maybe they were going to talk about like Resident Evil or something, not this. Ah, oh, look, you still got the, the cameras to check. Like this one's for you, man. You're gonna be jumping. I haven't seen scare jumps yet. Security breach. There is more going on here than you realize. Oh, Freddy's back. Five Nights at Freddy's. Five, that was a that chilling time. new look at Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Was that chilling? Up next, let's take a tour of oh, Oddworld yes. Soulstorm. I love the Oddworld. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director at Oddworld Inhabitants. Today, I'm going to take you on a brief tour of our newest game, Soulstorm. Oddworld Soulstorm. They've always known you would come. Do you know why you have? In Soulstorm, you I reprise the role of Abe, accidental hero Abe. turned unlikely leader of an emerging revolution. As you do battle through weird and wonderful environments in an effort to escape the all-powerful and eternally greedy Gluckens. I love this really game, man. If this you guys never played it, with you what have we call 2.9D platforming, which adds much more depth and immersion for the player. Yeah. This sense of connection is also reinforced through the use of the dual senses haptic feedback, as nah. you'll now be able to feel Abe's heartbeat in high alert and suspenseful situations. I don't know if I like the sideways gameplay. There are well over 1,000 fellow Mudokins that you must try to save along the way, but they are far more than helpless workers looking to be saved. When used effectively, you'll be able to solve puzzles, harness their combined energy, and be given the tools they need to fight alongside you. lost me when it's just a sideways game. there will be times the when game. the extra uh, hands will be needed as you face off against an array of heavily armed enemies that will stop at nothing to find and end Abe once and for all. You want to go for sale or something? But I don't know, man. In order to stand a chance against this much larger threat, we gave Abe the ability to scavenge, loot, and pickpocket items from his surroundings and use them to craft an impressive arsenal of his own that he can share with others. You can also play as a non-lethal pacifist or an agent of chaos. We wanted you to have the choice. But there is one iconic ability for our shamanic protagonist, Possession. This mystical power allows you to Possess. take control of your foes and use their strengths and weapons against them or use them to gain access to paths still ahead. The Oddworld universe is a diverse place, and this means that there are some environments and situations that require a little more thought, <laughs> or hide patience, and stealth. You'll find dark and dangerous caves, heavily guarded industrial sites, and ancient forgotten lands. Here, we've built lots of opportunities for you to test your skills and find different ways to handle things. It won't be easy. If being hunted by an army backed by a shady and wealthy organization <laughs> isn't bad enough, look at that. there are also more dangers in the forms of natural obstacles, ancient traps, trials against swarming dark creatures, and industrial hazards that must be dodged, oh. crossed, and avoided. Ultimately, Abe's journey is one of hope, freedom, and truth. There is a rich and engaging narrative to discover in a world full oh, of lies. They're gonna and we've off? been able to bring our characters to life like never before. In yeah, true Oddworld that. fashion, your actions in-game will decide the fate of Abe and all those you manage to liberate along the way. And okay. we can't wait to see what you will do. I won't do anything because, uh, like I said, April 6th, oh, well, three days from now, four days from now. I don't like that sideways thing, man. Those, this game's Odd Worlds, they're so good. That was the latest so on Odd World Soulstorm. And here's some exciting news. Active PlayStation Plus members will get the PS5 version for no extra cost starting in April. PS5 version for no extra cost starting in April. Okay, why the uh, glitch? Moving on. 
It's time to catch up with Kina Bridge of Spirits, a this gorgeous one? new adventure we last saw in the June PS5 showcase. Yes, it looked very interesting. I would definitely play this one before I even play the last three games they showed, or four games. Actually, until Crash Bandicoot, I don't know if I'm going to play any of them. So far. This one I could get behind. <laughs> Little baby Yoda. <laughs> I like this types of games. Kind of like old Tomb Raider mixed with mystical stuff. Something tells me you did not come to our village looking for forest creatures. Hello, spirit. I seek passage to the sacred mountain shrine. Our Beautiful. Is bound to the shrine's energy. But that power faded long ago. I'm pretty sure I want to play this one. Uh oh. remember when the release the Xbox I don't know if you guys played I know this is a PlayStation stream but cameo Tangled when the release the Xbox 360 the exclusive was cameo this reminds me of that game but before it's much better because you know it's been so many years now you have to go now oh you got a force shield I like it, babe. See, that's how they should have done oddball like this in 3D cameras and stuff. Not the sideways thing. Oddball always been the side, the, the 3D camera. Uh oh. Dang. Well. Well. There's the bat, guys. Kina. Or Kina. A bridge of oh, guide is a lonely one. Yes, August 24th. Alrighty. We'll have to now check prices. Let's settle in for a stylish new look at Death Loop, a PS5 first-person shooter developed by the team at Arcane. Death Loop. What? This is one of the reveal, the reveals. There's no one ever here. here. Just you, me, and the rest of these maniacs. <laughs> Bring it, baby. This is Ramblin' Frank's Matt. It's another battle arena, so you can uh, you can rewind trying to break our loop. time. Cold. The visionaries are ready to dance. Are you? Let's dance. Oh my God! Is that a uh, Lady Gaga? And your mind. Well, if we get copyrighted, we're gonna mute the song later. The mechanics is what I want to know because I know there's a multiplayer. I don't know if there's a, a, look like Mission Impossible. <laughs> I'm in the uh, 007. Because on the reveal trailer they had a, it was a multiplayer, everybody was everybody. I thought that's what it was. There we go, now we're seeing it. Time. Yeah, they're doing like 007. Mm. 
kill for like Oh my god! Teleport. A bit with a fast-paced game. I, think, I I like it. I thought it was the multiplayer one. I, I guess I was wrong. Death loop. They did it very 007. This would have been a good game to have it on, on, on VR. You probably get this here, Song's over, people, and so is Ramblin' Frank. The rest of you motherfuckers are next. <laughs> okay. The Death Star, yeah, of course. I can stand behind the Death Star. I, mean, I can wait to see what they do in Star Wars. If you don't succeed, die, die again. <laughs> Before we leave, how about a huge update for one of 2020's most celebrated games? Not say Fortnite. Cloud, quickly! Barrett! Capture on PS5. Barrett! Where you been? Uh, uh, help me! Come on, let's push it back! This is one of the most celebrated ones. George! A touching reunion. Well, guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar. <sighs> Materia Hunter and the Elite for Special TV. Forces operative for the new Wutai government. We'll Wutai. prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, we got this. I'm back. Ah, there you are. Hello. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Sorry about that. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonon Kasakabe. Where's Sonon Kasakabe? We lost him. You what? I don't know this okay, game. Though, right? Well, How come it's the most celebrated 2020? I don't know. They're the know ones it. who blew up the reactors. Cool. Should we say hi? No, better not. After <laughs> what they've better done, not. you gotta assume Shinra's on their tail. Look, a Moogle! Hmm? <laughs> <Yeah>. Stop! <sighs> we gotta help. There you go. Okay, now it's the gameplay. We have paint high potion. Has a huge, uh, I don't know, scorpion and centipede. All of the above. Probably get moving. Got it. Whatever it is they're planning, you're better off out of it. They deserve what's coming to them. Yeah, they do. But I'm not your sister. There you are. Who are these jerks? No clue. It just appeared. Final Fantasy. I should not. Now, let the hunt begin. I thought it was that what that chick. I didn't know it was a Final Fantasy. Get down here, bro. Upgrade, I mean, or or update or something. I thought it was just the chick story. Graphics on PlayStation 5. Nah, they do a side by side, man. Meh. I mean, you're selling it like it's a huge thing. I don't
that looks different, but it's still, this is just the lights and stuff, lightning. The 60 frame per second actually helps a lot. Where's God of War? I want to see more of that. See, it looks the same. They just fix the colors a little bit, sharpen it, and I'm in. Quality of life. Graphics at 4K, okay, yeah, see, that's why. 60 frames per second. Normal classic. Loading times, yeah, that's that's a big thing when it comes to PS5. You have your loading time. There you go. Ah, you can take pictures. I readily use photo mode, but I, it's, it's a nice feature, I like it. If you want to create some badass pictures. I'm sorry, I've never been a fan of Final Fantasy. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> that's how ninjas do it. I know it's very popular, a lot of people like to. I, I, can, I can understand that, that's why it's been, what, seven now? But not my thing. Remake. If you own a copy of PS4, you can upgrade PS5 version for free. Yeah. Yeah, Yuffie. I thought it was her. I thought it was a story with her or something. I didn't even realize it was just seeing Final Fantasy update. That was the reveal of Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade coming to the PS5 console later this year. Pass. And that's our show. That's it. We hope you're as excited as we are for what's to come in 2021. I'm not. See you next time. I'm really not. Is there any more? I guess that's it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there's some really good games coming over. Uh, there's some others that, yeah, always whatever. But, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a hit and miss for me. Not many that I, I want to see, and, and I, I, not many I care about, but that's what it is. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like button. Make some comments at the bottom if you there's some uh, games that you want me to play, and where are you excited for? And I'm going to keep making videos like that. I did take a little bit of time to do it. Sorry about that, but at least we can watch it. So uh, I'll see you on the next uh the LP22 video. See ya!